Guys, Arcade Obsessed, and we have a package in the mail. Let's see what this bad boy is all about. I might have to put the phone down for this. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll pull it out of the box and then I'll put it back on the bench. Just a sec. Check this out, guys. The inner of the box is a box within a box. It's kind of lovely the way it's sort of being packaged there. And there's felt. So, yeah, there's felt there. So that's that's nice. Um, but um, but um, but um, but um, check it out. I know these are pretty old now. In fact, after looking at the packaging, I absolutely sort of crapped myself because I thought it was a white one, but I ordered a space gray and I thought, oh God, here we go again. Um, anyway, so I do, I do music production and I'm actually thinking, instead of organizing or hooking up my new iMac to these studio speakers, I was gonna do something really daring and stupid. I'm gonna sync two of these home pods <clears throat> Excuse me, two of these HomePods to my iMac and my iPhone and all that Apple ecosystem stuff. So I am going to do music production with two HomePods. First I wanted to buy one just to see it, how it goes. I've cleaned up the top of the uh, speaker there, that's where I'm going to be putting it, just on the top there. And I'll do the same with the other one, but right now, I think one HomePod should be, not, should be fine. I could have had two just sitting here ready to go, but I just wanted to get excited about setting up the one and then just uh, going from there. So let's open this bad boy and we'll go from there. Cheers. So you've all seen an iHomePod box before. Let's go and open this up. Oh wow. It just melts apart. Wow, look at that. I've just popped it up. Popped it. These things are heavy. I can't believe it. My the stem there is all reinforced, so I'm glad I did that. Um, <clears throat> that cable can actually come out, but it requires some force. It is a two-pin prong. Oh my god, this looks gorgeous. I'm going to stop the camera, pop it open out of the box, put it in place, plug the cable in and, and then see how we go. Um, the setup side of it, yeah, I won't be able to show you, but there's many many YouTube videos that have dedicated their time to actually do that. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. The syncing stereo update is now available. I think that was available in iOS 11. So yeah, just having a look around the side of it. The smell is kind of interesting. <clears throat> it smells kind of all right, I guess. All right, cool. Let me set it up and I'll come back. So here it is, guys. Let me have a bit of a seat. There's going to be one there, another one there. Oh, there's been a bit, yeah, a mixture of years with the twin ones, but I'm sure it's, I don't know. I'll have to do more research. That's why I only got one at the moment. So that's there probably going to be the first music producer that's actually running these as monitors. These other ones work, which is connected of course to the to the Windows 10 machine. I was going to run 3.5mm jack into my amp, but decided to do it this way first. So let's see how we go. Cheers, might be a second. So just to wrap up guys, beautiful speaker, but I really don't need two of them. The, the lag, um, you know, for DJ mashup remixing and my own produced music, it's just, it's too laggy. You can't do, you know, so you put a beat grid in, in um, say for example, DJ Pro or, uh, what's the other one called? Virtual DJ. And as soon as you say press beat grid, which should be instant. Um, There's nothing playing on this HomePod. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, so she's actually working now. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting my cables. Don't worry about the white one, but I've just 
makeshift amp there, nothing special, does the job. So I want the instancy, the lag free on those speakers, which I'll get. And that's a nice sub when you can join the two. So, all right guys, bye.